Moving on to what we are going to talk about today. Today, we are going to talk about AI ethics and regulations. I'm sure the last time I presented, there were so many issues where people were asking, how can we coexist with machines when they, um, when they can overpower us? There are also questions to do with where can we draw the boundaries between what AI can do and what human beings can do. And then also there were questions on, are there any regulations given that uh, this um, AI can sometimes um, be more powerful than what we do? And also there are so many ethical issues that we are coming up from the questions that we raised last time. So I thought it would be better that we can look at AI ethics and regulations. In other ways, we are trying to balance between us human beings and these um, intelligence machines. So now, why should we have AI ethics? So now I should ask myself, what exactly are ethics? Ethics in our Shona language, or like uh, for, the, for those who are in Zimbabwe, is like Hunu. What exactly is it that we tend to be right? What exactly is it that we tend to be wrong, despite whether the law approves it or the law doesn't approve it? What exactly is the right behavior that we should exert? What is the guiding behavior based on moral principles? We have our moral principles that we live by as human beings. And how can we coexist with machines? And why at least we maintain those moral uh, principles? So we are now want to talk about issues that, need, that we need to consider for AI to be developed and used responsibly. Because in the end, we want to coexist with these machines. We want to live with these machines. And we also want to benefit from all the benefits that it produces without disrupting our moral principles and values. So now, why should we, um, why should we have ethics in artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence has to have ethics because we want fairness. We want fairness in the way in which our machines operate and the way in which us human beings also operate with these machines. So the first point on fairness is on that we should have models that are trained with fair data. Like I spoke to you last time, it's only the machines they operate from information and instructions that they would have been given by us human beings. So whatever it is that you use to train those models, is it that will, that's the, uh, or the output that you will get depends on the input that you put in it and the type of information or the type of instructions that you give to the machine. So we need to train models with fair data. When we talk about fair data, we want, to, uh, we, we want data that is uh, free from ambiguity. We want data that is not discriminatory. We want data that is fair for that particular functions. So the, fun the particular function that we want the AI to do so that whatever it is that it produces, it's fair for everyone. And we also want to ensure that no group is favored over the other. Just imagine an insurance claim that only favors probably the elderly. And when a claim is made by a young person, the AI machine just says no, or it, re it refuses the claim. In that case, there is no fairness. So where ethics are applied, then every group has, no group has to be favored over the other. There has to be fairness. And we also want to prevent negative targeting of vulnerable populations. Just imagine if an AI uh, tool only favors probably the rich and the elite when everything has to be shared probably among everyone, whether they are poor, whether they are from an unprivileged background. We want to ensure that the AI tools, they prevent negative targeting of vulnerable populations.